Hey guys, it's Kay. It's going to be a little bit of a different video here today. Mainly it's going to be me dealing with this situation here. Lately, for productivity issues, with editing videos and doing other stuff, one monitor wasn't working. So I'm thinking a two monitor setup is going to make my life a lot easier. But I don't think I'd like it on the desk. I want to try to get it up. So I've decided to invest in a double mount for the monitors. So when I do eventually get the other monitor, I can get them all close up back to the wall. And I still should be able to move them around and get a good layout. So that's all I'm doing today. So if you're not interested in that, maybe skip to the next video. So I'll do a quick unboxing and then we'll get to the setup. Now a quick mention, this dual monitor mount is from a company called Von House and it fits screens from 13 inches to 32 inches and it came in at a price of $24.99 which in my opinion is a bargain. So as you can see the stand comes from Amazon and it's very well packaged. It comes with instructions which are clear and concise and it details all the parts you should have got. So this should be pretty straightforward but there's always a snag. Well, we'll see. So here's the base mount all the screws to put it together an extra mount for mounting through the desk and the plate for holding the monitor and the second plate for holding the monitor now this is handy, this is a clip for the two allen keys you get this attaches to the stands so you're not going to lose the allen keys and finally the arms these are strong and sturdy so this is all you get in the pack So first thing, I've got to move everything away from the wall. I think I'm going to put it in the corner on the left, so I can just swing out the monitor. And when I get the other monitor, I'll centre it up on the desk. This Giotto camera lens cleaner doubles up as a handy desk cleaner. fine adjustments, luckily this stand comes with its own two allen keys. So next we just mount the plate to the back of the monitor, making sure we insert the rubber spacers between the back of the monitor and the plate. So the monitor will slide down onto this plate and we're going to tighten it down with the nut. Safe in the knowledge it's not going to drop off if we rotate by 90 degrees. Ok, here goes, fingers crossed. And just a few final adjustments. As you can see it freely rotates through 90 degrees. So I'm leaving the other arm free and out of the way for the moment until I get my new monitor. As you can see the stand does a good job of cable management with a total of 4 clips for cable management and just a final dose of OCD. So that's pretty much it. Got it done in under an hour. Wasn't too bad really, I was expecting a lot worse. From up here it looks good and clean. You can't see any cables. And that's it, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not done with it yet, I need to get a few more things for the desk. But overall, I'm pretty pleased at how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.